Jesus Christ, you are the light of the world. Stay with us now, for it is evening. Let your light scatter the darkness.
May our prayers come before you, O God, as incense, and may your presence surround and fill us so that in union with all creation, we might sing your praise and your love in our lives. Amen. Amen. Let us pray. My Lord God, I have no idea where I am going. I do not see the road ahead of me. I cannot know for certain where it will end. Nor do I really know myself. And the fact that I think that I'm following your will does not mean that I'm actually doing so. But I believe that the desire to please you does in fact please you. And I hope I have that desire in all that I am doing. I hope that I will never do anything apart from that desire. And I know that if I do this, you will lead me down the right road, though I may know nothing about it. Therefore, I, will I trust you always, though I may seem to be lost and in the shadow of death, I will not fear, for you are ever with me. Amen. Let us pray. Prepare our hearts, Lord, to receive your word. Silence in us any voice but your own, so that by hearing we may believe and by believing we may obey your will. Reveal to us through your Son, Jesus Christ, our Lord. Amen. Grace to you and peace from God our Father and our Lord and Savior, Jesus Christ. Amen. For Lent this year, I wanted to be able to do some of my favorite prayers. And this one that I just read was by Thomas Merton, who was a Trappist monk. And this weekend then we'll deal more with it. And I thought on Wednesdays, I wanted to talk more about prayer. Prayer is kind of awkward sometimes, isn't it? And if I asked you to pray aloud, is that kind of awkward? Um, it, it takes practice to do it out loud where you don't feel quite as awkward maybe. But the way that I look at it is that we pray all the time, don't we? Oh Lord, help me. When you're in the midst of something that's, that's just like right there and you think, oh, help me, Lord, help me. Or thank you, Lord. Prayer is um, our communicating with God. And the Quakers have a tradition. They do a lot of silent prayer. And so this is going to be a little awkward for us, and that's okay. I hope that I want to teach you a practice, and I did it for the first time this morning, and I thought, oh, I like this. Now, it should be while you're sitting down. Um, don't do it while you're driving. <laughs> but when you're sitting down, and I would sit down, but then you'd never see me. So. Uh, <laughs> Put your, it's called palms down, palms up. And palms down, just look, rest them on your, on your legs and just get comfortable. You can keep your eyes open, you can shut your eyes, but try this for a few days, just taking some time. And the palms down in your mind Begin to think of the things that trouble you, the things that you need to bring before God. Maybe you're frustrated with somebody. Maybe you're angry at a situation. Maybe you are trying to figure out how you can do something. And God says, cast your burdens on me. So take them 
and put them at the foot of the cross. Keeping your palms down and let your mind be able to go and release those things. Whatever you have, release them to God. Cast your burdens unto Jesus, for he cares for you. And however long it takes, just let it go. And when there is time and you feel like you have released all that you, has been troubling you, including not just for you, but lifting others up, what others are going through, what's happening in Ukraine, for those who are dealing with sickness, cast them all on to God. And when you have finished, simply turn your palms up. Let them rest on your legs. And palms up to receive the light of Christ. To receive the love that God is pouring out unto you to receive the forgiveness. Listen to what God is telling you. And rest in the Lord. Be filled with his light. And as you do this every day, be filled with that light of Christ that gives us the courage to go out into the world, to be able to share that light, to be filled again each day. Amen. Let the light of Christ shine in the darkness, but the darkness has not overcome it. Yeah. 
Great and merciful God, source and ground of all goodness in life, give to your people the peace that passes all understanding and the will to live your gospel of mercy and justice through Jesus Christ our Lord. Amen. God, remember us in your love and teach us to pray. Our Father in heaven, hallowed be your name. Your kingdom come, your will be done on earth as in heaven. Give us today our daily bread. Forgive us our sins as we forgive those who sin against us. Save us from the time of trial and deliver us from evil. For the kingdom, the power, and the glory are yours now and forever. Amen. Let us bless our God. May God, Creator, bless us and keep us. May Christ be ever light for our lives. May the Spirit of love be our guide and path. Go in peace. Thanks be to God.